What's up everybody? Currently on the way back from picking up a bunch of free furniture and I my truck's fully loaded. This is us responding to a free ad for a secretary desk that my wife wanted. We went and showed up yesterday, picked that up, and a couple other more things. We ended up buying a couple things off the person. Uh, it is an estate sale that ended, and the homeowner doesn't, basically doesn't want anything left, and the house is being sold type of situation. And so I went back today, bought, I spent another $180 on everything. This, so this is half, half the stuff I'm getting, and I'm going back maybe tomorrow or the next day to get the other half. And then they also want to pay us at the very end to do a giant like donation run and stuff like that so whatever they can't sell or give away for free they will uh pay me to go back and take up all of the rest of the stuff and you know donate it for them or maybe try and sell it myself i actually don't have an interest in trying to sell plates and dishes and stuff like that because i don't want to ship it. I don't want to ship any glassware because I've already done that before. And five times out of the seven times I did it, it ended up breaking. Whether or not that was my fault on poor packing or not, I can tell you. And then I will show you what all this stuff is when we're all done. I'm currently going home to switch vehicles and go get another piece of free furniture, which is a an antique dress for vanity that my wife wants. So yeah, I also gotta go home. Well, I'm going home regardless. And I need to finish up packing up shipments of eBay stuff overnight. There was $602 over the weekend. I will throw up some of the sold comps right here. So yes, a couple of them. The gems that went out today is the misprint Final Fantasy 7 for PlayStation 1. Sold for $95. Listed for $119. Took an offer for $95. Totally fine. Just turn and burn. And if you don't know what the misprint is, on the back of the Final Fantasy game for PlayStation 1, or the words of his masterpiece, I'll put up a picture right here. But you can tell that the eye in Masterpiece is a pretty obvious typo and people pay a lot for it. Something else that sold, we have Pikmin 2 for GameCube, Player Choice Edition. I think that also sold for about $100. I'm not looking at sold comps on my phone right now, I'm grabbing, but I'm going off of memory of what I shipped out. Mario Party 2 for N64 was like 15 some change. GoldenEye 007 on N64 with manuals for 45. Oh, this old uh, Tommy, Tommy Electronic Pac-Man machine sold for 60 bucks. That, for whatever reason, had like 800 views and like 40 watchers and no one bought it until yesterday. No big crazy Pokemon sales that I'm aware of besides stuff that happened on Thursday and Friday. So here's the contents of that box. And I'm going to spread it all out on the table so you guys can all see. Here's everything laid out. We got uh, NC4 for controllers. Some six are good and also kind of shot on some. Hyperkin, which is kind of whatever. Third party controllers. Moving into some good stuff. This copy actually, I believe, completes mine. So we'll, we'll set that aside actually. You know, a couple more Super Nintendo stuff, nothing too crazy. I mean, these are all like 20, 30, 25. Diddy Kong Racing, Bomberman 64, a couple of NES titles, nothing. The first three are shuffleware. This is like a 40 to $50 game. On the PS2, we have a bunch of Kingdom Hearts, Magna Heart which is also a pretty good game by Atlas. Atlas always makes pretty high-end titles, if you didn't know. And moving to the PS1, which is where all the money's at. Parasite Eve 1 and 2, Chocobo Dungeon 2, Solo Fighter 1 and 2, Vandal Hearts, Double Pack, 
Chocobo Racing, the original Diablo. And then Arc the Lad, the collector's edition, well, collection. Unfortunately, I mean, everything's in here, but the box has seen some better days. Uh, everything is all complete in there and whatnot, all minty and fresh. And then the PlayStation 1, the, one of the grails is a seal, Legend of Dragoon, Greatest Hits. This alone is about $200 all day long. Going in here, a couple. black label a bunch of final fantasy stuff another copy of legend of dragoon nothing in here is sealed besides the top one but these are all i'm just gonna go through here and you can see a bunch of like fast selling titles and overall for everything on the table i spent 625 there was also star ocean but he wanted to keep it so he took off 40 bucks which is fine the whole value on the table is around like 1800 which is just nuts so let's go find this one's home. Okay, so now we're, we're back over my Super Nintendo wall and I see Secret of Evermore. Which is right here. For those that don't know, this type of shelf is called a barrister and they're antique and each shelf's probably about a thousand dollars. But I got them for free. Cause I'm always a deal hunting. So yeah, let's put this together real quick and I'll show you. I forgot I can put this and my little sleeve dust, dust cover. Put it back in here. This all goes back in the box. A little Super Nintendo CIB ASMR action. Bam. Complete in box, Secret of Evermore for zero out of pocket. Sweet. And now that this is officially complete, I can go to my phone. Slow as if. Open up my Game Eye app. This is all my Super Nintendo collection. Secret. Thing is actually pretty crazy. Let's see how slow my phone is on camera. But here it is. I can now add it's complete. And now it's worth 146. So. That is pretty cool. My whole collection is now, game-wise, 21,387. Systems is 3,307, which I don't think that's accurate at all. Yeah, it's missing a lot. Because as you can see, the Super Nintendo wall is getting bigger and bigger. I got one more exactly the same as the middle barrister, which might go here in the Kitty Tower of Power, might have to rotate not quite too sure i'm packing up a bunch of wheeze i'm trying to get a, like a little bundle system going on here this is a rock band set i got at goodwill for 15. obviously this is the collection so now i'm going to list all of this stuff get it all ready clean prepped ready to go and all the cart based games will get cleaned up looking all nice and pretty the console stuff will have to wait. I don't really care at that stuff at the moment. I want to get the high end stuff up and listed and flying off the shelf because this stuff will move. This is a, a bunch of consoles I need to repair. These all need 72 pin connectors, which actually came in the mail. As you can see from. Oh no! Just kidding. This is actually what I needed. This is not that i thought it was xyab but it's actually shipping shields which i ran out of because they would be in this pouch but cool i fixed the ps2 disc tray on this fat boy it was sticking or like it'd go out and come back in too quick i a little tweaked around with a little rubber piece in there so i'm building up a little bundle to sell with these 
This controller, as you can see in my reel, I may have posted before and after in this video too, but this one was just trashed. I've been having a lot of success using uh, Back to Black. So shout out to everyone watching this video. I'm gonna be way more adamant on posting the buys and flips I have. I will, the next video that will probably be out after this one is I'm successfully recovered my account from Facebook. I was banned. I was permanently banned on Facebook Marketplace for zero reason. No contact from support telling me why. I was just falsely banned. I believe I was mass reported by bots and scammers because I can't think of anything else I would have done wrong. But now, as of yesterday, I talked to face, uh, Meta Business Support. So now I'm officially unbanned as of last night, technically, but I checked it today. So sick. Thanks for watching.